Hi, this is Alexandra at Vida Halik, here to show you how to make the patriotic crystal necklace with Gita settings for Swarovski crystals. So these components are prong settings made by Gita to custom fit the Swarovski cushion stone in a 10 millimeter size. And here I've chosen an assortment of traditional uh, American red, white, and blue uh, to put together a necklace. Um, just like so. Now first, before we start, I do want to draw your eye up here to some other prong settings by Gita that also accommodate this same size stone. Uh, some other styles we have are this pendant and connector in the gold version of what we'll be using. We have a couple of lever backs, uh, one that has the lever back off the top of the angle of the stone, and then the other one that's got the top off of the center of that sort of cushion square shape each in silver and gold, and then also um, a simple post earring also in silver and gold. So we'll be putting our necklace on a finished cable chain that's 16 inches long. I've got some four millimeter open jump rings. And for tools, I'll just be using a popsicle stick to set the stones. And I've also got some cutters, um, flat pliers, and round pliers to help us open and close those jump rings. So to start the project, let me take up our first connector here bring that in with our red stone. I'm just going to set that stone in like so. Having it down on the table helps keep it steady. So I'm going to press gently on one side to hold that firm while I gently press the prong on this side with my popsicle stick. Now I'm going to flip it around and go from north to south and east to west to get an even pressure there. One more time here. It does kind of poke into the skin, so I want to get a side grip. And one more time. Now I may also want to come around each one and just make sure that they are firm, because I went softly on the first round just to make sure we got our placement. And now I'm just making sure that they're nice and sturdy in there. So there's no glue re required and that's a great aspect of this project. So I'm going to do the same thing here with the second connector. Bring in my crystal stone. Sometimes it takes just a little doing to get it nice and flat in there. You want to make sure you get a really secure setting. All right, and so I'm going to again kind of take it at an angle where I've got the best leverage to bring down that first prong, rotate it 180 degrees to get that second prong secure. Over to the third one. And there we go. And we're ready for our little hanging pendant. And once again, apply my pressure. And this one is offset so that the loop of the prong is coming off of the angle of the cushion, and I like that variation in the shapes of it too. So now to construct our necklace, we're going to take up a jump ring, and these are four millimeter open jump rings. I've gone ahead and opened them already using my pliers. So I'm going to take my chain plier and slide on the loop of my bottom piece, and I'm also going to slide on the loop of my middle connector, making sure that the stones are facing forward. Bring in my second plier and close that up. Now I'll do the same thing here to connect our third stone. Flip that around and slide on my pieces. There we go. All right, now to 
hang my pendant from the chain, what I'm going to do is find the center link of my cable chain and clip that with my flush cutter. Take that link off. Pick up one of my jump rings and I'm going to slide on the top loop of my redstone and I'm actually going to close that jump ring up. It'll take two jump rings to face the pendant forward. So let me pick up another one of these, slide it onto my previous jump ring and also slide on the two end links of my chain and close the jump ring. And now we have a very pretty patriotic crystal necklace. Great for a holiday or any festive occasion. These tools and supplies are all available at beataholic.com and please also subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.